So, so for 16 years, I have been profoundly deaf in this ear. Um, it was a weird thing. The only thing that preceded it was I got into a swimming pool in Sedona, Arizona at a hotel. And afterwards I was washing my hair and drying and it's just like the sound just turned off. I thought I had water in my ear. Um, and so for a couple days I was walking around, you know, you know how you do, trying to clear. And find, then about the third day I started losing my balance and getting sick and throwing up and ended up in a, in a doctor's office in El Paso. He took a quick look and said, nerve collapse due to a virus. Sudden hearing loss. It's called SHL. Sometimes when this happens, people lose the hearing in both ears. It takes some managing to work with this. You know, I always position myself at a table in a meeting or at a meal um, where everybody's this way so that I can hear them. Um, if someone walks up on this side, say a waitress, I don't know anybody standing there. I found my, I didn't find myself, I invited myself to a cochlear implant society meeting here in Las Cruces. They start talking about something called a Baja and I'm like, what is that? And it's for people who are hearing in one ear and deaf in the other. I made an appointment to go in and see Dr. Jonathan Owens, um, really just to kind of find out more about it and probably go, okay, well, I'll think about it. Well, we did an in-office demonstration where he took the sound processor on a little piece of silicone and he said, Suzanne, touch it to the skull behind your ear. And he walked out that door and he started talking to me and he walked down the hall and he was still talking to me and I could hear him. And I was so blown away, I was just like, sign me up. And he goes, do you want to do it before Christmas? And I said, yes, let's do it now. And so that's exactly what we did. So December 9th, I had the implant, which is a magnet that is about the size of, I'm gonna just guess like maybe around a nickel or a quarter. And that is anchored into the skull with a screw. And what actually the sound processor does, processor does is it catches the sound, vibrates the skull, and really, although I feel like I'm hearing in this ear, I'm really hearing in this ear, but it seems like it's coming from over here. So I'm really excited. Today what we're doing is getting the sound processor that, now it's six weeks later, five, five or six weeks later, and the sound processor holds onto the magnet, and so it'll go in my hair. They've, they've got a way to match it to the hair color pretty closely and so I'm I'm beyond excited mm -hmm. it's been 16 years since I could hear and I'm just I'm so excited so this was gonna sit back on that site you can see right now I have the battery compartment open because once I close it we're gonna detect it and activate it this is actually the magnet detect. itself you may hear some squealing or feedback the next step is for me to run the software and we're gonna do a feedback test okay here we go Okay. Ready to yes. Okay, awesome. Yes. 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 So how's the sound quality sound great? Oh wow, I'm really picking up the bass beat. That's amazing. Well, how did it sound to you? It sounded great. It sounded full again, complete. Uh, it is a dramatic thing to only hear in one ear. To, to be able to turn away from you and hear what you're saying is astonishing. <laughs> so. Awesome. Someone calls me and says, I'm hearing nothing out of my right ear or left ear. We consider that an urgent process. Time is critical in that process. So within two days is sort of the, the time limit. I think that most uh, ear physicians say is the critical period of time.